hope you guys how is it going as you can see i am pretty um ugly today because <laughs> i'm going to teach you guys how to cut my hair so i am doing it before like i shower and before i start getting ready um my hair has gotten pretty long for the i've been growing it out for the past four years now um the reason why it's been taking so long usually my hair grows pretty fast but the reason why it's been taking so long for it to grow is because i would always go to hair salons and they would cut my hair and cut it like a lot shorter than it usually that i wanted it so it was never able to grow so i was like you know what i know how to cut hair i went to cosmetology school why not cut it myself so this is how long my hair is right now so we're gonna start off by um i i comb all my hair all the way up Right. And then I get it to where I want it. I make sure it's smooth. And then with my fingers, I am going to go down and put it to like a certain length that I want to cut it to. So once I am all the way down, I have to comb it a lot because I have so much hair so I want to make sure I get all of it straight where I want it and then I trim. So here's what I trimmed. I already cut this off and it looks uneven because it's been moving but pretty much your fingers are your measurements and then you just go straight also you could use your comb when you comb it as your measurement okay so once I do that I decide that's just the very tip that I cut from the bottom that has been dead and then that's when I part it out and then I'm gonna start adding layers to it because I want also like the inside of my hair to be um, so I grab like this thick chunk, I comb it all the way up, all the way up, and then like I said, I'm using my fingers as measurements, so I'm going up, 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 and then I go down like this, and I just kind of see like, okay, I want to cut a little bit, so I'm going to keep combing it until I get like a straight line up here with my fingers, because that's my measurement, and I feel like that's a pretty much straight line with my fingers, because you remember you're using your fingers to measure so here I am cutting that's how much I'm gonna cut into my layers and I comb it again comb it again till I am there again and see how this is already cut there so I'm just trimming a little bit it takes some practice to get to where like you're comfortable knowing how to measure and all that but it's fine you're doing your own hair so as long as you start off by cutting little by little my daughters are like watching me right there and then I start off with the front to blend in the sides. And then you see how that just shows where the I started cutting the process. And then I'm just making sure that the bottom matches with the top. That's how you create the layers. Yeah. I just cut my daughter's hair this morning. Hi, guys. So, so it was like to hear, huh? Yeah, your hair grows pretty fast. It is. I barely cut it. You can go all the way up. I can't really see, so I just kind of go from the down and then just... I, I pull it out to the side when I'm trimming it. Okay, I pull it down to the Also, you guys, while I'm cutting my hair, you guys will see that when I'm pulling it out to the side, you guys see some hair fall down. Don't worry if hair does fall down. Don't worry about cutting it because since it is shorter than whatever you're cutting, there's no need to cut it. It's already shorter. It doesn't reach for you to pull it out to the side or to the top. So just leave it. So like I was also saying, like I pull it up to the side and I trim from the bottom up because I am trying to create those layers. And there's hair that on the bottom will be shorter to pull out to the side. And when it starts dropping, that's kind of how you know when to stop with your finger because that's where you know where to measure. That's that's kind of going to tell you this is where your hair starts falling so this is where the shortness begins and then you measure that to the top that you cut um also if you pull out to the top and try to um cut it even that's going to create longer layers i mean if you want shorter layers then you could do it to the side if you want to pull it to the top and measure the bottom to the top and cut it from there then it's just going to create longer layers 
hope you guys understand that i know it's a little confusing to the side because i'm adding layers and when you pull it out to the side it kind of creates like an oval shape of layers and then like i said i'm just as you can see the top this part is shorter than this part so i'm just adding this bottom um part that i had already cut in this top part and i'm cutting in the middle to even these out see i'm evening in the bottom with the top so that's how i'm creating the layers i don't know if it's easy for you guys to see or hard it gets harder for me in the back but i kind of just am used to it can I just look and then trim 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 the the rule is that you're not supposed to cut past your knuckle when you're cutting because I had had many accidents when I was in school where I would cut my fingers and when you get finger cuts those hurt so bad it could be the smallest cut you know like a paper cut hurts but these are like geez, like 10 times worse so then again I have to measure that because it's so thick my hair just kind of like falls and I have to put that down I have to cut 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 the good thing about layers when you have thick hair is that it doesn't look too blunt at the bottom when you're cutting it and yeah I wasn't even supposed to cut my hair today but I cut my girls hair I was like why not I straightened my hair so much so it does dry pretty a lot so yeah what I'm doing now is I'm just going into like pie sections following my the you could always grab a piece from the back and keep going and right now I kind of grabbed the thick piece so I'm gonna cut that in half grab my hair and then just you see that you see how the top is this short and the bottom is this so that's what we're cutting into we're just making a straight cut right there. It's not that straight, but um, I'm okay with that. Mommy, mm. are you older than Angelica? Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. <laughs> Front's falling off. See, okay. I'm trying. I'm trying to. Get, this side is harder because it's not. Since I'm right-handed, it's just harder. So that's how much we're cutting. We're just evening that out. It looks hecka off, you guys, but it's just the way I'm holding my hair. Since it moves, you have to add a certain amount of pressure when you're holding it. And if you put it too tight, you can cut it too short. If you loosen it, it could cut like all the way. But it's okay. So, anyway, that's just me trimming my hair. Um, I like I said, I like the length. I don't know how straight it looks when I'm done, but here's. You guys can see that's how much I cut. And not too shabby, right? Still long, just getting it trimmed, and it looks a lot more healthier. So, I hope you guys enjoy and you use these techniques.